Good morning, Facebookers, lookers, and lurkers. This is your girl, Jen, on this magnificent Monday, and this is our second attempt to post this video today. The first one was blocked, so let's see how this one goes. So what I want to talk to you guys about this morning is wake up. You know, um, it's morning time. Psalms ver chapter 30, verse 5 says, and we've all heard it, that, you know, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Well, what, what does that mean? Okay, yeah, we go through sadness. We all have disappointments, right? Be it we're dealing with death, loss, sickness, mental health, um, financial challenges, disappointment in relationships, disappointment in our children, disappointment even in ourselves. Um, you know, things aren't what you thought they would be. And so what do you do? What, what do we do with this at this juncture you know well first of all if you look at what it says it doesn't say happiness comes in the morning it says joy remember happiness is determined by what's going on around us and what people are doing for us so it may not feel good we may not like it but when you have joy which is what it says but joy cometh in the morning um rest assured that all will be well you know and you know people say well it says in the morning and it's a season well the morning does not necessarily have to be 6 a.m., 7 a.m. If you are in a bad relationship and you realize it's time to get out, guess what? Good morning. If you are dealing with addiction and you're ready to stop, good morning. If you are frivolous with your finances and you want to do better, good morning. If you want to do better with your health, good morning. Whatever, if somebody comes to you, da 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 da, da with all that mess, and you realize, you know what, I'm not even going to entertain that today. Just very simple. Good morning and walk away. That's all it's going to take. And I want to tell you, so often we look at Psalms 30 verse 5 and we only go with the second clause. But what we have to understand is that there's another part to this scripture that most people overlook. And what I want to tell you is how many times have you said, I think God, I think God's mad with me or God, God is punishing me. Well, the first part of that scripture says, for his anger is but for a moment and his favor is for life. Let's read it to you from the message version. It says, yeah, he gets angry once in a while, but across a lifetime, there's only love. So what I want to tell you is no matter what you're going through, um, it may not always be happy. It may not always feel good, but guess what? Joy is there and it's time to wake up. It's time to do better. Um, we all are going through something. I acknowledge that. It's not easy. I woke up disappointed. Um, didn't get much sleep, but still woke up disappointed and something wasn't what I thought it was. And it's okay because I still have joy in my life. You know, that's what my book is for the month of January is the book of joy. And I hope you guys are reading with me, but it's really, really important that, you know, we acknowledge one another. And if you see somebody who's doing better, making changes in their video and their life, guess what? High five them. Good morning. You know, you. I see you. We're making it. And it's very important that we lift one another up. You guys have a fantastic day. Be blessed. I hope you're reading something. We need to be um, increasing our intellectual property. And I did challenge everybody to read one book a month, one book a month, whatever your topic is. You know, all I ask is that if you're on my page, that you respect everyone's belief system, especially mine. And if you happen to be nasty and condescending too much, I'm going to delete you. Anyway, have a fantastic day. I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.